Welcome back to more Max Payne. What? And yeah, action-packed way to start this game or this video. How about that? I didn't even have time to say welcome back, my lovelies, my beauties, and my sexies. I had to just say a welcome back because we were accosted by enemies pretty the quickly. The switchboard was still in use. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area, the kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, I got nearly. This Max Payne. The game started capitalist. He killed him. was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. I know I'm old, but I actually remember those commercials for the stupid party lines. Hey! Health items are always welcome. I'm really gonna need them coming up, actually. I remember I would stay up pretty late a couple of nights a week to catch up on a show that I liked. They aired the reruns at like 1 in the morning or something ridiculous like that. At this time I was in college so it didn't really matter what time I stayed up till or anything like that. But they would, sh they would show the show and then during the commercials there would always be inevitably one lame party line commercial. You think you could take my money? You know who you're dealing with? Huh? Do you? Do you? I hope that eliminated one of my enemies. That would be handy. That wasn't bad. There we go. It would be these commercials that show a shit ton of, you know, probably about four or five different girls and they'd be telling you how you're, how they're waiting for you to call and talk to them and this and that. And they all looked very much like they were on drugs or I guess junkies basically. Some of them were slightly attractive, but a lot of them were not so much. Clearly the best they could afford for these commercials. God damn it, Max. You're supposed to jump down the hole. Really, that had to hurt me. I mean, I had to come here this way. And that had to injure me. And I just popped a shit ton of health pills. I don't know how that happened. I did not intend to use up that many. So not cool. Really, Max? You can't shoot the guy? Oh. Fucking die. I'm going to be trying to use other guns more this video. I went through a shit ton of shotgun ammo last video. Probably the last two videos. So I want to try to save some of that. See if I can build up a little bit more of a supply. Not that I'm running out or anything. I still have a decent amount. Looks like all that did was connect to this room right here. Okay. That's kind of lame. Even more lame, that guy was still hanging out there, not even bothering to attack me, so I knew that he was there. Dick move! But in my wandering around, which y'all didn't see, I discover this. 
Imagine that as your alarm every day. That would get annoying really quickly. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were gonna get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's suit. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. Huh. Max's voice. Yeah, these girls, I think, I was thinking about it during the cutscene. Basically strippers. That's basically what they were. Because, I mean, most strippers that I've seen haven't really been that attractive. I'm sure there are high-end ones, especially in Vegas where they are. I mean, I've seen a few attractive strippers, don't get me wrong, but I've also seen a lot, especially my last trip to a club, which was several, three years ago now, yeah. A little over three years ago, I went for my birthday. The headlines were a depressing read. All right, let's read that. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. Did we really need one of those sequences for that? Yeah, actually they looked a lot like the strippers at the last strip club I ever went to. Went on my birthday and I'm no longer friends with the person that I went to that way. Actually, that was hilarious, because the guy that I went with, he got upset because he spent 60 or $80, that I forget. He spent that much there and didn't even get a lap dance or anything. Okay, Max cannot turn corners worth a crap. I was hitting back and to the left, and he would not turn back. I didn't want him to move that far into the doorway. I just wanted to open the door and open fire. Come back. <sighs> that was kind of cool. I don't know if that can count as my... I guess two, because I did another one earlier. Slow motion kills in this game. So that's cool. He was all upset about spending all that money and he didn't even get a lap dance. The Numb Nuts bought a stripper a drink. You never buy strippers drinks. That is one rule. I would say rule number one. Never buy strippers drinks. All you're going to get is that they're going to sit there and talk to you for a little bit. You don't want that. <sighs> I had fun laughing at that dude's expense. He didn't really spend all that much money, all things considered. The whole building was rigged with explosives. Ah! 
And that's how you get past that little area. And be ready to shoot. Hey. Ah. Go. Apparently we're going to be using grenades to get around different traps later on in this game, so that's going to be interesting. Health items, I desperately need them after using all of them during that firefight. Not happy about that. Hold it. And now he runs away. Awesome. But yeah, if you've never been to a strip club and you're gonna go, never buy the stripper drinks. Ever. They will give you a lap dance if you pay them. And if they're not willing to do it, then fuck them. Go get another one. Never let them dictate the situation. Unless it's a situation like legal or club rules, then, you know, that's something different. Or anything that if you break could be considered assault. Yeah, don't do that. But otherwise, never let them dictate the situation. It's not like I frequent these establishments. Like I said before, it's been over three years since I last went to them. I've only been to like three in my life that I can think of. And one was the same place twice. Just about a year apart. Two vastly different experiences, too. I already mentioned the second one. A beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of a manic-depressant choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne! This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. I assume that means we're on a timer. And SWAT guys will eventually sure ask it for me. Take it easy. Come in. Get up. Yeah, they're gonna run away and hide like little bitches, so you'll have to bear with me. I don't want to just run in there and take a bunch of damage. Yeah, my second time at that place, I already mentioned that was the time I talked about earlier. First time I went there was fucking fun. Me and two friends at the time, one of them being the dude that... I think that's them breaking in there. Get up! Okay, nobody got time for this. One of them being the friend that I went to the second time with. The other being another friend. We had gone out to eat for his birthday. The dude Someone and chick. Left a letter on the counter. Awesome. There's we'll get to that in a shelf. moment. We could need to pick up a key in here as well in order to get out of this place. It's somewhere in here. I don't know where. And then we're going to read a letter. Because reading, reading is fundamental, right? Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing you could count on, you push a man too far and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. So we had went out for that guy's birthday. And I don't remember where we had gone to, some Mexican restaurant where we bumped into a girl that the guy and I used to work with at a retail establishment. Cute as hell too, by the way. A little Hispanic girl. 
and her boyfriend, which I guess my friend at the time knew. We chatted with him a little bit, and we ended up eating and having a few drinks. I was already pretty, but, well, I was actually pretty drunk already. Oh, crap. <sighs> that very nearly killed me and really took off more da health than I would like. Uh, <sighs> damn, I can't talk. I wanted to get around that fucking corner so that I would not take any damage to that stupid grenade, but, well. You'll see several instances of Max not cutting corners the way he should. Controls for that are not very good. But so, me and the two friends of mine ate. We had ran into those two people and we told them what we were out for. Guess they were heading out, but we met up with them later afterwards. I was already buzzed pretty good at this point. I think I had Mexican martinis. I think I had like two of them there. I was already going pretty good. Thank you, Jesus. I just hope I didn't waste any by not taking any before grabbing them. I probably should have just waited until I ran through some of this. Oh well. So we met up at a bar, played some pool, chatted a bit, drank. It's pretty awesome actually. It's a really fun night too. Oh crap. And that's why I was being cautious before trying to go up uh, this staircase. I thought it was the previous one that that happened, and not this one. I wasn't sure on that. But we found out. And I died my first time doing this, so that's why I'm being careful now, trying to figure out where to go. <sighs> Something else, apparently, this game is going to have. Platforming! Fucking fantastic. You saw I handled jumping through a skylight earlier. Oh my god. Yeah, there's gonna be another explosion in that door behind us. I don't show it, but everything behind us is now gone. Well, there's still the walls to the building are still there, but all the flooring is gone. So convenient ways to keep the game from having to load old areas, I guess. So we hung out and drank. We're having a good time. I think it was me. I think I suggested... I'm trying to figure out how to go through this freaking door here. Just jump up and it'll open. The bombs had destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. And thankfully, not platforming yet. It's never been this cold. Never ever. It's like the sky's falling. <laughs> yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I don't feel fine. I don't feel anything. Not a thing. I'm freezing my butt off. Bonus points if you get the song that was referenced in that conversation. Not said explicitly, but I know they were referencing that particular song. If you've seen the movie Tommy Boy, it's in that song. Or in that movie. I thought at first that, that were, those were two cops. That's part of the SWAT team coming to get us. But no, it's just those two dudes over there. I think I suggested a strip club kind of as a joke. And they kind of took that and went with it. They're like, no, wait, if you want to go, we can go. And I was just kind of like, uh, well, all right. I guess we're going to a strip club. Fuck it. So we went there, drank. Had a good time. To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. Pizza delivery. Never seen you before. Buzz off, Joker! So those couple little moments they give mini cutscenes to, but not actual important events. Go figure. And for some reason, everybody there were buying me lap dance. Well, not buying me lap dances. All the two people bought me lap dances. Oh. 
one had significantly better taste than the other. And there were two, both of the two girls that were with us that pop heel half dances. I was like, all right, well, cool. I was having a good old time, too. And everybody was giving me dollars to go up. And the funny thing is, I make more money than any of these people. I don't know why they were being so nice to me. It wasn't even my freaking birthday. But they were giving me money to go up. Yeah, dudes are going to come from around there. Sorry, guys. I, or, sorry, junkie that I killed. I probably actually did that junkie a favor. If you just listen to them, it sounds like murdering them is actually doing them a favor. And I'll save the rest of the story for after this next little bit. No, don't shoot. I act you know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, no, no. The laundry. Yeah. I know him. Yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. Just so you in, and I'm there. Hey, you got the gun. You make the rules. Awesome. That's the way I like it. American way. Fuck yeah. But first I need to find some pain pills. So one of the girls that I went up there and paid a dollar to stand there and watch. I was quite drunk and I distinctly remember licking her boob. I'm not sure why the fuck I did that, but apparently that was a thing I did. Now the cool thing about the second time I went there. It was really the only cool thing, besides laughing at my friend, yeah, I'm going to get stuck here in this corner because I can't see. Because the frame rate and blurriness. Just so you win, and I'm there. What? Yeah, hey, shut up. You got the gun. It looks significantly the better on the what? video than it does on my TV, and I'm not sure why that is. I've noticed several moments that were blurry as fuck and I couldn't see when I was playing. And then I put the video together and it comes through just fine. <laughs> But the second time we went there, the what, well, there are a couple actually cool moments at the second experience at the same strip club. But this one chick, one of the better looking ones that was there at the time, that, as far as I can tell. I go up there, I give her the dollar, she does her dance during the song. All is good. And then she stops me and she's like, hey. I'm going to have to finish this after this. Cliffhanger! It's me. Open up. Let me in quick. Not so fast. The password. John Who. Come on. Okay, John Who. All right. Come right in. It's a trick! Oh. Ah. Idiot, you should at least wait till you get into the room to start yelling that. Jeez. He hadn't betrayed Max. He might still be alive. Maybe, anyways. So after the song and dance, the girl says to me, she's like, just ask me a question, but are, are you blind? And I happen to be like, yes, yes, I am. And she's like, oh, well, stay up here. I need to give you a better experience. And she took my hands and she got tactile with that bitch. That was awesome. You can just kind of use your imagination as to what happened there. That was amazing. I was very happy. Well, I guess amazing is probably a little bit too strong of a word, but it was really nice. Yeah, I got a little enthusiastic there, but, you know. That was still really cool. Not sure I want to say the other cool thing that happened. Not that's that big of a deal, but, you know. That and laughing at my friend for buying a stripper a drink is fucking hilarious. You could tell she was playing him too. And Num Nuts was buying it. And some bitch there asked me to buy her a drink. And I'm like, it's my birthday. You should be buying me a drink. Fuck. I feel like I told the story on another LP. I probably did, actually. I don't remember what I was recording at the time. Probably Resident Evil Revelation. Either that or whatever game I did right after that, which I can't remember what that would have been. Probably Tenchu Wrath of Heaven. <sighs> whatever. 
Yeah, I like that detail of the music having distance to it. You can still hear it, but it's clearly more in the distance. That's kind of cool. Uh, that gargle broadcast again. I have never once whistled in the bathroom. Of course, I can't whistle, but still. I've never even hummed a tune or anything like that when I've been in the bathroom. Yeah, he's in there. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Hey! There we go. I, I thought I missed out on a chance, but I think the door's locked. To just walk in there and shoot him while he's on the can, but... No, I think... It's just locked, so you have to just let him come out and then you shoot him. I don't really think there's anything in here, so just go to the TV and get the broadcast. Come on. New York City is in crisis tonight, with reports of Valkyrie-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne, Deputy Chief Jim Rivera, has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NY CNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. So I think that was one of the broadcasts that we've been here part of the gargled broadcast for. I don't know if it's just when they do that gargled broadcast, if it's bits of different broadcasts, or if it was just that one... It would be a little weird if it was just that one, considering we've heard that several times. This week on Address Unknown. I don't want to go there. It's the last place I'd want to end up. Only if not me talking to the pink flamingo, but someone who looks the part down to the finest detail, except that he's evil. I'm hiding in the shadows, watching it all unfold. The flamingo speaks. He can speak here. It says, That's mirrors are more fun than television. Somehow I know this, just don't ask me how. I know it. Not me, but my double. Nods and smirks at this, like it was the funniest thing in the world. And then something goes wrong. And suddenly they know I'm there, hiding behind them, and they both turn to look at me with cold eyes. And the flamingo speaks again. And that's when I always wake up to my own screen in that really white hospital room, strapped to my bed. Tell you what, people in this game have some weird TV shows that they watch. Or this universe, I guess. They watch some weird shit. Well, who knows? It could be entertaining. I'd be curious what the pink flamingo had to say. Actually, I'd be curious where to go next. And I think there are some health pills in here, and I am in dire need of those. Next save point we get, I'm going to end the video, though. Thankfully, we don't really have much else to do before we get there. So I've hardly talked about the game, which is pretty awesome. I've talked way more about strippers. But there hasn't really been a whole lot to talk about as far as the game goes. Run around, don't die. There have been a few things which I've mostly talked about. <laughs> I 
As you can see, we're definitely going to have some more platforming stuff. No. Max, don't do something stupid. I don't want to do that again. Okay, what's over here? A secret? Can I go back that way? I'm afraid I'm going to, like, fall off something if I try. I mean, that's nothing but walls. Well, I guess I can't walk there. Oh, well. And with that, we're going to end the video. So thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.